What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So, bank robber Willie Sutton had a famous quote when asked why he robbed banks. His answer was, because that's where the money is. And this practical piece of advice applies to a lot more than just his line of work. In the same way that there are certain fishing spots that have way more fish, there are certain industries that simply have a ton more opportunity than others. Raise your hand if you wanna get rich. And it really doesn't matter whether you're planning on being just a normal person who just works 40 hours a week and then goes home and enjoys the rest of their life, or if you want to be an entrepreneur and start your own business. Entrepreneurship. Finding a career that you enjoy, that pays well and has a lot of opportunity, as well as starting your own business, will be much easier if you join an industry that is booming. That was easy. However, if you choose a dying industry or the wrong industry, it really doesn't matter how smart you are or how hard you work, you're going to be fighting for the scraps. Hard work will be expected instead of rewarded, and there just won't be that much opportunity overall. You'll have trouble finding a job, and the ones that you do find won't pay nearly as well. And on top of that, you'll likely hate them because there won't be as much opportunity for advancement. If you say, screw this, go off and start your own business, your chances of success will be much lower, and even if you do succeed, the chances that you'll have a wildly profitable business are going to be extremely low. And maybe if you're lucky, it'll be slightly better than having a normal job in that industry. This is basically like swimming against the current. Miss me with that so in this video, I'm going to go over the top 10 industries that are most likely to make you a millionaire now, as well as in the near future. So the way I rank these was, first of all, I considered how big the industry is. So if it's a really big industry and it's also doing extremely well, chances are there's going to be a ton of opportunity for you. And one example of a large industry is going to be real estate. The second thing I considered is opportunity and how much change there is in an industry. So there are certain industries that are just extremely settled and there's not much change going on. They aren't being disrupted. And so therefore, there's not going to be as much opportunity for normal people. So for example, manufacturing and durable goods is a huge industry, but there's just not that much opportunity for normal people to break into it. It just because it's kind of settled. You see, we're normal people. So the third thing we're going to consider is future potential. So this one's kind of obvious, but how much opportunity does it have now and how much opportunity is it going to have in 10, 20, 30 years down the line? So an obvious example of this one is technology. There's a lot of opportunity right now and with the onset of automation, there's going to be a lot of opportunity in the near future. So with that being said, number 10 on the list is going to be the beauty and fashion industry. And you really don't have to look Look very far to see how profitable this industry is. YouTubers like Jeffree Star are estimated to be worth over $70 million just a few years after getting big on YouTube. And Jeffree's not the only example. There's tons of other YouTubers making millions of dollars selling their own products or using affiliate links to sell other people's products. And they're even making pretty good money per video. Vloggers make about one to $2 per thousand views, whereas beauty and fashion bloggers are making somewhere around five to $10 per 1,000 views, so it's not bad there either. Not bad, not bad at all. And of course it's not YouTube. Kylie Jenner, for instance, became a self-made billionaire by launching her beauty brand. And this isn't just for the ladies either. Uh, there are huge male channels like Teaching Men's Fashion or Alpha M that are also making really good money in the millions of dollars every single year. Number nine on the list is going to be the energy industry. Natural gas is still huge, of course, but in the next 50 years, expect wind and solar to probably overtake that. And then there's a good amount of evidence that nuclear energy is better than either of the other two. Now this one is a pretty obvious one, but you know, examples of this would be amazing entrepreneurs like Elon Musk creating really beautiful products like the Tesla Model 3 or really interesting products like the Cybertruck. Oh my God. Smash the like button like Elon Musk uh, smashed that window. <laughs> I would really appreciate it and it would help with the algorithm. Number eight on the list is going to be real estate. And if this were a video about industries throughout the entire world, I think that real estate would actually be higher on the list. But here in the US, there's so many people involved in this industry that there's actually a ton of competition. So it's a little bit harder to break into. But the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, real estate is a really good one to get into, especially if you're watching this internationally. And also practically speaking, real estate is a finite resource you know, 
we're getting more and more people in the world and there's not an infinite amount of land. So it's pretty obvious that this is going to become more and more valuable as time goes on. Number seven on the list is going to be logistics and transportation. Now, when you think about this one, the first one that probably comes to mind for you is Uber or Lyft, but actually this is a lot more than just that. So people are expecting more and more convenience and a really good example of this is Amazon Prime delivering one day shipping on products. Amazon Prime. Amazon, of course. Another smaller company that's an example of this is one that I use all the time, which is Instacart. And I order my groceries once a week, it takes like one or two minutes, and within two hours, it's at my door. Special delivery. <laughs> I love it. Now this industry is really big and the best way to think about it in my opinion is it's all about convenience. You wanna think about saving people time and energy. Number six on the list is going to be entertainment and recreation. And the first thing you think about when this comes up is of course Netflix. But there are so many other examples out there. Hulu, um, what you're watching right now is a really great example. People wanna be educated and entertained and there's a ton of opportunity in this industry, especially right now, because for the first time in history, you are able to choose yourself. Before YouTube and other platforms came along, in order to break into the entertainment industry, at some point, somewhere along the line, somebody was going to have to choose you. And a lot of the time, people would just choose somebody from their own family or maybe like a childhood friend. And so if you weren't in the in crowd, you were kind of screwed. But now you can reach millions of people using Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc., TikTok even. And you don't have to rely on being chosen by one person. Instead, you can just make really good content and get chosen by millions of people instead. And there's also a trend where people are starting to distrust the mainstream media as well as mainstream entertainers. And instead they're turning to individual creators on YouTube because they think that they have less biased opinions and because they can probably relate to them a lot more. Out of all the industries, this one has some of the best opportunities right now. It's up there with technology in my opinion. Number five on the list is gonna be education. And this is very similarly related to the one right before. In fact, entertainment and education oftentimes are one in the same. But also in this industry, you have the business of college, and I've talked about that in other videos, but college is way more expensive than it should be, and you're making people rich on Wall Street if you go and get a art history degree or something like that. $22 billion! And on top of the scammy colleges, there's also a bunch of people on YouTube that are selling courses, and again, you know my opinion on fake gurus. It's a scam. Now, with that being said, I think that the information product business and online education has the potential to do a lot of good in the world in the same way that the written word changed the world several thousand years ago. Being able to connect with someone over the internet without having to move somewhere who's mastered a valuable skill that you want to know is invaluable. And as soon as we get all the fake gurus out of the way, get out of here. I think this is going to be an amazing industry. I've taken several courses that were extremely good and they were honestly worth a lot more than what I paid for them. Thank you. And then on the other side of the coin, I've taken some courses from business ninjas that were a complete scam. And then other ones that I took were either mediocre or kind of a little bit underwhelming, but the really good ones made up for the bad ones. Number four industry on the list is going to be healthcare. Now this is a really great industry to get into because no matter what, it doesn't matter how much it gets disrupted, unfortunately people are always gonna be sick and they're always gonna need people to take care of them, and so this one is future-proof. Now on top of that, people are wanting to live longer and be more healthy, and so that is another huge part of this industry. This is a a great industry and it always will be and I think out of all of them this might be one of the most stable on the list. Number three on the list is going to be e-commerce and this is just buying things that you would normally buy at the store online. Amazon is now the most valuable company in the United States. They're worth over a trillion dollars. And I think one of the major reasons for that is because they embraced e-commerce at a very young age. Now, I'm not saying that brick and mortar stores are going to go away completely. It's still nice to be able to go out and shop and, you know, go to different places. But I think it's going to take up more and more of the marketplace. And this is also one of those industries that affect other industries and therefore give them even more opportunity. Number two on the list is going to be financial services or finance. And this industry is going to be all about money. Show me the money. Show me the money. So investment, banking, insurance, loans, anything that has to do with money is going to fall under this industry. And this is one of those industries that has really withstood the test of time. It was huge for 
40 years ago, and it's probably going to be just as big 40 years in the future. Now, this industry is currently being disrupted by a bunch of different companies like Robo Advisors, Robinhood, Webull, all kinds of different investment apps. But I really do think that after the dust settles, at the end of the day, people are going to want to talk to real people and they're always going to need financial advisors. And as an example here on YouTube, I told you that vloggers generally make like one to $2 per 1,000 views. Well, if you look up keywords related to finance, you're gonna see that they're making anywhere from 16 to $30 per 1,000 views. So if companies are willing to pay that much in order to advertise to people, that tells you that there is a ton of money in that industry. Number one on the list, the undisputed pound for pound, number one champion of the world. No, but seriously, is going to be technology. If you look at the top five companies in the United States, you're gonna start noticing a trend. All of them, except for one, are technology companies. The only one that isn't a tech company technically is going to be Amazon, and you could make a strong argument that they're still a tech company after all. Now, as a fun experiment, if you look at the top companies from 20 years ago in the year 2000, you'll see that basically none of them were tech. But in the last 20 years, technology companies have completely taken over and disrupted basically every industry out there, and that trend is only going to continue in the future. Because not only is it maybe the most profitable profitable industry on its own, but it's also one just like e-commerce that can disrupt a ton of other ones. And that's not all. There's a ton of sub-industries within technology that are doing extremely well right now. We're talking cloud computing, blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the list goes on and on. And on top of this, I don't think this industry is going to slow down anytime soon. We're entering the age of automation and it's only going to get bigger and bigger in the next 10, 20, 30, and 40 years. Now this automation is going to be really bad news for some jobs and some people, and then for other people it's going to be a huge opportunity. And if you play your cards right, you can get rich in this industry with ease. But overall, check out my videos right here, I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas or comments you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.